All right, what's up, guys? This is the first um, tutorial that I'm going to do for you guys for uh, Adobe Premiere, just to show you guys how we make our videos at Nick Nick. So I'm not a pro or anything. I'm just going to show you what I know. So if you guys ever want to make videos like us, um, yeah, this is how you do it. So just watch my mouse. I might go a little fast. I apologize if I do. I get used to shortcuts and stuff like that, but I'll try to go super slow for you guys. So start a new project this is adobe premiere and uh, this is where we do our stuff so file new project that's the first thing you do then you got to name your project so i already made a folder for it i put it in you know you can browse go find your folder i wanted to put in the dig nag tutorials folder and select folder name it tutorial number one all right Check all these things. I don't really know so much of what they do because, like I said, I'm not a pro. I try to keep it on HDV just because I think it means high definition video. I could totally be wrong. I don't know. But yeah, it looks good to me. And we're just going to take a couple seconds while Premiere loads up. All right, so you're going to get these four windows, right? So this one, this one, this one, and this one. So. Let's see what I had on my list here to teach you guys. The first thing, I should probably explain these windows, but before I do that, let's make a sequence. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make a sequence. So this is your timeline in this bottom right uh, window here. And you're going to have to make a sequence here first before you like start anything, get any clips, and make any videos or whatever. You need to make a sequence on your timeline. So let's go to File, New, Sequence. You name your sequence whatever you want, doesn't really matter. There's a bunch of presets here for your sequence. And I like to keep it on HDV, 1080p, 24 frames. Um, all this stuff is in here if you want to look through this stuff, but this is the one that I keep it on. You name your sequence. I'm just going to leave it at sequence 01. And the sequence should pop up right here. Okay, so this is what your sequence looks like. This is what you want. Okay, so this is where you can drag all your files on. So if you already see in the left bottom box if you're on media browser you make sure you're on the media browser tab because there's all these other tabs here you hit your media browser and this is where you find your files so mine's already on the nig nag one like it usually is but you know you can go in, so it starts here right here your local d right your local disk drive i'm going to go down to nig nag I'm going to go down and find my C double folder. There we go. And let's just edit Battlefield for now. So there's a couple ways you can drag clips onto your timeline. Um, if you're working with seeing double footage like we do, where we need the full gameplay, so what we do is we look at the full gameplay and then pick out the parts that we like, you would just grab, drag this file, this whole file, onto your timeline. Keep change doesn't really matter to me right now. I'm just going to keep them. Uh, so this is your scroll bar down here. So you're scrolling here, right? Left and right. And if you want to zoom in and out, I usually just grab these ends here. See these little squares at the end of your scroll bar. And this is a zoom in and this is a zoom out. Hope that makes sense, right? So this is the full clip, full video on this side. This side is the video. See V1, V2, see these eyes. On this side of this line here, this upper side is the video. The bottom side, A1, A2, M, blah, 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 all this stuff. This, this bottom side is your audio. So this is this full clip here. That's one way you can drag your clips onto this um, timeline. The other way is if you double click your file, so let's pick the same file, but double click this file, it's going to pop up in your source monitor up here. So now you're just going to view, basically you're just viewing this clip without it being on your timeline. You're just viewing it straight from your file. So I can just play it in here. Let's put this down because maybe it'll make it play a little faster. Because I notice, bear with me because my laptop uh, can't handle running a Premiere and Game Capture very well at the same time. But hopefully it's not lagging too much. So you can watch it in here in your source monitor if you double click it, right? So... Just play really that for a couple cool. seconds. But so, like, Dr. Juice never so what you can do instead of dragging the full clip in is use these in and out points, right? So let's say I want from seven seconds, seven point one eight seconds, 
right, to 14.16 seconds or whatever, right? Because for some reason that was a super funny clip and I want to put just that clip in. So you mark in, see I marked in here, right, by clicking this button, and then I'm going to mark out here, right? So that means this part of the video is selected here because I marked in here, marked out there. So now if you want the video and the audio, put your mouse up here on the screen and you click and drag the whole thing down. So see, it's a much smaller clip because I chose to make this part the part that I wanted, right? Um, if you want just the video, you click this one, drag video only, right? See how it's only on the top thing because that's the video. And, or if you want just the audio, you grab this one and drag that down, right? Let's reset again and just double click that. So let's just play with this small clip here. Let's go with this minute here. We'll just play with this for now. So we got both the video and the audio and it's kind of zoomed out there. So let's zoom in a bit for you guys. Um, so now we're working, most of your work is going to be on the timeline. So I'll just teach you just some basic tools. So usually, um, I mean, one of the most useful tools obviously is cutting. So this is your cut tool over here, razor tool. Um, and the shortcut for it is C. So you want to get used to using shortcuts so you can work really fast. Um, so let's say I want to cut a bit out, right? I want to cut this beginning bit out. So you click C or you either hit this button or you hit C right and now there's a cut here right there's these two clips now it's not just one clip right so you hit c and then this little razor thing your cursor becomes a razor and you cut right there right so if you have this magnet on snap your cursor will stick to this head here this timeline head so this is you know um so if I hit C and it turns into a razor and I want this, so I'm playing, I'm playing, let's say I play the video and I want to cut at 35, right? So we'll cut at 35. So 35, right? So I'm going to put my cursor right there and see how it kind of snaps to it. It'll stick to that, this figurehead here. Uh, I forgot what the name of that is, but that's a good tool to use if you want very precise if you want a specific type of precision, right? So, but if you don't want it to snap to your cursor here, this figurehead, this thing, then you either click this so it's off, so now see it won't it won't stick to it now, right? Or you hit S, snap, see how it lights up? Hitting S, F again. That's super useful. Um, and then once you make your cut, you should go back to using your basic mouse selection tool, right? So you either click this button or you hit V. I, again, I'd say get used to the shortcut then hit V instead of trying to click the button all the time. But you know, if you're beginning, it's okay. You can hit the button and then you can move the clip wherever you want, right? If you want to put something in the middle here, you can move this clip over here, put this clip ahead of that clip, right? Um, yeah, I mean, that's some basic stuff. Um, this tutorial is already around eight and a half minutes, so I think that's good for today. I will try to do tutorials every Sunday, I think I'm going to do them. But um, I'll get into a lot more things here. I mean, there's there's a lot of things that I can try to show you guys from what I've done with all the other ones. But um, let me know if there's anything specific that you want to know. Um, I will try to figure out. I mean, again, I'm not a master, but I mean... That's, this is just the beginning of this. I think this will give you guys a pretty good base for uh, making videos in Premiere. And uh, yeah, catch you guys next time.